everyone. In this chapter, we will write Fresnel shader. In the previous chapter, we understood what is Fresnel effect and we derived the equation that we are going to use in our shader. In the previous chapter, we also saw that Fresnel equation defines the amount of reflection and the amount of reflection depends upon the angle between the vector normal and the vector view, which is the vector or the direction of eye or camera. This is the scene that I have created to test our Fresnel shader. So far, it has just the texture applied on it and I have applied reflection shader. In this chapter, we will extend our refraction shader and we will add the capability of Fresnel effect as well. Instead of applying reflection and refraction in our shader, we will control the amount of reflection using Fresnel equation to give an appearance of smooth and glossy looking surfaces. So first step is we will duplicate our refraction shader that is the last shader that we created. We will name it IBL Fresnel and open it in mono develop. First thing we will rename the shader we will call it IBL Fresnel. Before adding any property, I would like to fix a problem that we left in our previous shader. In our refraction shader, in the fragment lighting, we created a multivariant block of code and we wanted to apply the condition reflection and refraction and we left it as a reflection. So we will fix that problem and we will call it refraction and we will change this function to refract. Instead of reflect, we will use refract and we already made the changes in the other block of code but we forgot to apply the changes. So now we have fixed our shader and at this point we will begin adding the properties. When we created reflection and refraction property, we added a keyword enum that user can control and using which they can turn off reflection and refraction. We will extend this property in this shader and we will give the capability of applying either Fresnel, refraction or reflection. So we will add one more condition here which is Fresnel and we will use FRES for that. And then as we understood in the previous chapter that we want to add a property which is called as Fresnel width and the label will be Fresnel width as well. It will be a range property and by default we will apply the value 0 0.3. So we have extended our keyword enum and we have added a property Fresnel width. Now as we have extended our keyword enum, we will have to define this condition in shader feature as well. So here is the hash pragma that we are defining for all the conditions. We will extend this condition for Fresnel as well. Uppercase F R E S. The next step is the user defined variable section. In the user defined variables for reflection and refraction we use the cube map reflection exposure and the detail and we will need this cube map for Fresnel as well. So we will add a condition underscore IBL mode underscore fres for Fresnel and we will need these three properties for Fresnel too. And for the reflection, we added a reflection factor. We will need this reflection factor to control the amount of reflection which is controlled by Fresnel equation. So we will add the condition IBL mode Fresnel. So we need this reflection factor variable for both reflection and Fresnel. Now we will define the variables that are just needed purely for Fresnel condition. When user chooses Fresnel, what user defined variable will be needed? As we define a property underscore Fresnel width, we will have to create a user defined variable for that. So we will define hash if 
underscore IDL mode underscore fresh and hash and if and we will define uniform it will be a float type value and it will be called as underscore Fresnel width 